ladies and gentlemen, welcome inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena here in Binghamton, New York. Thunderbirds and Black Bears set to get this one rolling. Again, both teams tied for third in the league, so something has got to give here tonight between these two squads. Both teams in second place in their respective divisions. As you see, the Thunderbirds. We're live on Thunderbirds TV on YouTube. See the Thunderbirds getting set to go. Tucker Firth and Justin Bioni will be the starting defensive pairing. Looks like Jan Salak will be a part of the starting forward group as the anthem singers, plural, a lot of them, local elementary school, making their way back towards the tunnel off the ice. like it will be the line of Pastuka, Salak, and Butsida. That will make the start tonight for Carolina. Special thanks to Richie Pinkowski. Hopping out of the pads and the equipment to operate our camera tonight. Mario Cavalieri's in the net as we told you. Cavi. 4-0 in his last four games, 126 saves against the last 133 shots he's faced. It'll be Everett Thompson, the former Thunderbird, wearing number 25, on a start on right wing tonight for Binghamton, acquired from Motor City earlier on in the week. Lopez, Fitzgerald. Ivashkin. They'll start it out for Binghamton, as will Riley McVeigh in between the pipes. McVeigh comes in 2.93 goals against average and a 913 save percentage. Set to rock and roll tonight from Binghamton. We got a bit of a delay here. Okay, here we go. Can we drop the puck now? We're too excited for this. Come on. There we go, we're underway. Tucker Firth off the opening draw, controlling it back of his own goal. Moved over for Justin Bioni through the skates of Yuri Pastuka, back out into the neutral zone. Fitzgerald moves it ahead, tipped into the zone by Lopez. Bioni's after it far side, fans on the clearance attempt, but it's recovered by Jan Salak. Banks it off the back wall for Tucker Firth, ahead for Pastuka, over for Johnny Butita. That's banked off a skate at center off a defender. Salak trying to hop on the loose puck on a quick moving ice surface and touched by a black bear offside. 19.32 to go here in our first period. Again, special thanks to Richie Pinkowski, already absolutely killing it on the camera operation tonight. Thunderbirds have control now. Here's Pastuka looking on the backhand, and McVeigh got the stop. 19-16 now to go in the first shot on goal for Carolina. A really good opportunity. Keplinger can't get control off the draw. It's taken by Cameron Yarwood, moved ahead for Yates, who absolutely dusts Gus Ford. Here comes Yates, down the near side. Centering one out in front, they score. Boy, that all started back in the zone. Yates able to get by Ford, barreled it down the wing, and just 58 seconds in, Binghamton has a one nothing lead. 
Not the start that Carolina wanted by any means. And now a whistle as Rowe and a man are involved there to the right of the play, trying to correct an issue with our scoreboard here on Thunderbirds TV. Blake Peavy, two minutes for tripping. So right off the hop here, Binghamton's got a goal and now they're on the power play and now another penalty upcoming as there's another trip behind the goal that's gonna be touched by Salak. Just 16 seconds into the initial tripping call is another one. Butita will go off for this one. Richie and I are looking at it up here in the booth and that doesn't look like much of anything but can't do anything about it now. Lengthy five on three. Last time this happened, Carolina was able to kill it off. Yates will take the draw. Had the assist on the initial goal is 23rd of the season. Dropped back now for Oliveri. Oliveri, out at the top of the key, dusts it off from Yarwood. Oliveri shoots, that one tips wide, rebound, pinballed just wide out of the crease as a man had a shot at it. Here's a shot on goal, that one's stuffed by Cavallari. Yates moves it over, Yarwood touches it back, Oliveri. Yarwood, backhand pass down low. Yarwood's able to hold this in out at the top of the dot. Oliveri, a one-timer. Cavallari stopped it. And it might have gotten him in the mask. And now Grabenikov takes down Yates, who was still poking at Cavallari, who had lost his mask. And good on Victor for that. Sticking up for his goaltender as Yates got a little bit too frisky there in the blue paint. Now we'll see what will come of all of this. I'm gonna try and sort this out. 17.56 to go here in our first period. Carolina's gonna get an offensive zone draw out of this. If I'm seeing things correctly here, it's going to be a four on three power play for Binghamton, 17.50 to go. Well, they do give Yates a penalty for the infraction in the goal crease. So it's a four on three power play for at least the next 50 seconds. Poke check attempted there by Butita, diving poke check by Baker. Now back out top, Yarwood. Yarwood moving down the wing out top. Oliveri shoots one through traffic. Save made. Rebound Lopez. Back door. They score. Nikita Voskin. Just like that. It's 2 0. Binghamton. Well, Garrett Rutledge said the key was to get off to a fast start and stay out of the box. Neither of those things have gone the Thunderbirds way thus far. Two to nothing 
is where we sit. So the goal on the four on three power play. Ivochkin scores it. Lopez gets the assist. So two goals in the first two minutes and 37 seconds for Binghamton. And now the arm goes up again, a penalty coming up here on Carolina. Sixteen fifty-one to go now, and almost seems like Carolina's playing two teams tonight instead of one. Another power play upcoming here for Binghamton. They'll control it. Carolina will clear it down. There's still 12, now 10 seconds left on the Butita minor. So 10 seconds left of four, five on three time. Moved ahead here for Avashkin. Down the wing, Avashkin moving in. Cavalieri, big save with the stick. Circle that one as it's cleared down the length of the ice now by the Thunderbirds. Huge save right there. As now a minute 30 left to power play time as the officials here in Binghamton have thrown more flags than are thrown at the NFL football game. Schnapp tied up in the high slot by Lopez who works it loose. Avashkin watched by Salak trying to scoot his way in on goal. Used his quickness but he's got to throw it back out top. Boizar throws it wide. Picked up by Salak, banked off the wall. Peavy has it, he'll get it out despite Boizard's opportunity to try and glove that one down. Yates, through the center of the ice, through the neutral zone, down to the far side around Danny Martin. Here's Yates, back of the goal. Protecting the puck for a one-timer out top. Boyzard shot stuffed by Cavallari. And that will garner a whistle. 15-26 to go here in our opening frame. Richie Pinkowski's operating our camera tonight. And, well, he and I both are as partial observers. Not, not too pleased with the start here tonight, but what can you do? Pass down low, I believe that might have hit the pipe. However it stayed out of the net, it did. Good for Carolina. Fitzgerald drops it back for Yates. Yates moving this ahead. Yates down the wall, back of the goal. Backdoor pass, oh my goodness! Cavallari just committed highway robbery. It should be three nothing for all intents and purposes. But Cavallari just committed a federal felony. Circle that one later on in the game. 14.48 to go. Two nothing the Thunderbirds trail, but Mario Cavallari is doing everything he can to keep them in it. We're back in 30 seconds. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Richie Pinkowski's operating our camera tonight. Again, special thanks to him. He's a happy Red Wings fan, but he's not a happy member of the Thunderbirds thus far. None of us are. 15 minutes and, or five minutes and 12 seconds into this first period.
Cavallari just made an absolutely larcenous stop moments ago. Powell has this off the draw. Shoots, Cavallari got that one with the blocker. Grabenikoff will pick this up. Carolina finally back to full strength after what felt like an eternity as Grabenikoff's knocked off the puck at center. Uses that strength to get it into the zone. Powell cross ice feed, moves it over for JT Walters, trapped up in the neutral zone, worked past Ford. Keplinger recovers this, moves it ahead for Baker. Carolina with an opportunity here. Baker winds up and fires, and Powell got stung by that one. And now Baker's knocked down back of the play. No call. The puck was halfway up the other end of the ice. There's the whistle. Well, I didn't see an arm go up from the official, but... When everybody and their mother sees somebody shoved without the puck, it's got to be a penalty, right? It's time for the Northeastern Corporation NLT 14.08 to go here in our opening frame, and now Carolina has an opportunity on this power play to get back in it. Powell's got two for the interference call. Well, it could be cross-checking. Maybe both as we see the replay here in the arena. Keplinger will take the draw. Rowe, Salak, Pastuka, and Pringle, the five on this initial Carolina power play unit. Right side held in by Pringle. Here's Keplinger out top with it, protecting it on the back can. Keplinger down the far side, shoots and he almost leaked that one through the five hole as McVay had to close up the pillows quickly. But he made the stop and kept it out. 13.56 to go here on our opening frame. Off the face off, Biggitson controls it, clears it down the length of the ice. Cavallari will stop this out top. Play it back for Rowe, who will drop it for Pringle. Pringle cross ice feed, Keplinger at the red line. Drop pass for Rowe. Dangles around a man at center, has it picked off. Numbers developing here, shorthanded. Here's a chance for Fitzgerald, and it goes up and out of play. Well, maybe some contact there, but nothing coming of it. As Rowe tried to dangle around Tyson Kirkby at center, and he and Fitzgerald came in two on O. And luckily for Carolina, it blew up right in front of him. Thompson can't win the draw against his former teammate Ford. First pass was deflected with a minute 15 left on this initial Carolina power play. Firth has to circle back as this aggressive pushing penalty kill of Binghamton making life difficult for Carolina. Schnapp onside gets it in deep for Ford. Ford on the backhand is going to chip it out top, try and create some space. Firth banks it off the wall, goes up around the dasher, picked up by Butita with a minute gone and a minute to go on this power play. Firth, right point, left point Baker, trying to settle the puck down. Butita centers it. Schnapp couldn't quite get a handle on it. Bodied by Boislard, and now it's moved back at the goal by Butita for an awaiting Schnapp. Out top is Baker. 30 seconds. Baker back for Butita. Cross size for Firth. Couldn't get a clean handle on Baker. One timer blocked by Thompson. Here's Baker. Dangling, delaying, throwing it back out top for Firth. 20 seconds. Ford down the right side. Back door. Butita. Score! Tick, tick, goal. 2 1. Beautifully executed. Right there on the power play. And just like that, Carolina's back in it. Special teams making the difference early here in this one. Carolina wins the face off here. Bioni back at the goal, absolutely dusted a man right there. That was Ivashkin. 
Moved ahead for Pastuka, who gets it back from Rowe. Here comes the red hot Yuri Pastuka, one on three. He'll slam on the brakes. Beone, a one timer. Pat stop made McVay. Now cleared up and out. Here's Avoskin leaking behind the defense. Blocker save, Cavalieri. Avoskin tried to center it. Martin's on it. Banks it off the wall and out. Rowe is going to win the foot race for this. McVay will have to come out and cut down the angle. Pastuka hops on it. Dangles around a man, drops it for Rowe. Rowe on the backhand, trying to go back around the wall, read by Lopez and picked off. Lopez pays for the pass he makes to Fitzgerald and loses his helmet as he was watched by Salak as now Lopez blows a tire back of the play. Nope. Penalty coming up on Carolina. And now Bazarin and a man are involved. Yates is in there as well. I think it's going to be a tripping call coming up on Carolina. Now Bazarin will be escorted to the bench and I believe it's going to be Rowe, the guilty party of the penalty. Eleven twenty-three remains here in this opening frame. Just as soon as Carolina had momentum, they're back in the box. As we await the call. Ball is on Jan Salak for holding. Well, the PA guy butchered that one, but we'll forgive him. It's actually Jan Salak. Is, oh, almost a turnover there back of the goal as McVeigh almost lost the handle on it. Good checking there out top as Grabenikoff and Peavy combine to knock that puck loose and clear it down the ice with the first 25 seconds gone on this fourth Binghamton power play already as this one has sent the length of the ice no icing as it was touched by Thompson Cavalieri throws it up around the wall with the goal stick Peavy trying to hop on it Lopez around him Grabenikov poked it away but it comes back out top Oliveri shot by Avoskin save made rebound poked just wide Kirkby down the wall banks it Lopez will come to this indirectly outside the hash marks right side. Fans on the initial pass. Avoskid from the point. That one blocked by Schnapp. 52 seconds left. Dropped out top. Oliveri. Lopez a one-timer. Stopped by Cavalieri trying to get a chance at a rebound opportunity, but well controlled. Back at the goal as bodies are flying, and Carolina's out with it shorthanded. Two on two. Firth will assess things and flip it in. 30 seconds left on this Binghamton power play. Oliveri drops it back. Yates skates around a man. Gets around Danny Martin. Stick lifted from behind by Danny. Nice job. Yates stays on it. 10 seconds. Yates out top around Butita. Drops it over. Shot on by Yarwood, save made. Yarwood's got it back of the goal, but that's going to do it for the penalty. And now a whistle as Cavalieri's mask has come off. 9.23 to go here in our first period. Thunderbirds trailing the Binghamton Black Bears 2-1, to one, but starting to garner some momentum. We're back in 30 seconds with 9.23 to go here in the first. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. 
Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. The road to Winston-Salem. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Brett Wiseman alongside Richie Pinkowski operating our camera tonight on Thunderbirds TV. Thunderbirds, the power play goal has put them within one and are one second away from a successful penalty kill. 9.23 to go here in this first period. It's a Binghamton power play that came into this game at 26%. And Carolina has successfully killed this off. 9-10 to go here in the first. Yarwood back at his own end, trying to move this one ahead. Kirkby has it stripped from behind, blows a tire. Butita moves ahead with it for Salak. Salak in the high slot, shoots, that one's blocked. Jan's on it, back of the goal. Poke checked from behind. And now moved ahead and out by Jurich. Picked off in the high slot by the Thunderbirds and cleared down the length of the ice. No icing will come from this. And Matayu Boilar will have to double back for it. 8.25 to go. Moved back and brought ahead by Powell. Powell through the neutral zone. Hits the red, or the blue line, I should say, and gets it in deep. And it comes on goal where Cavallari will stop it. No further play. 8.16 to go. Two to one is our score. Shots are 11 to four in favor of Binghamton. And Mario Cavallari is doing everything he can with the multiple power play opportunities to keep this a one goal hockey game. Powell out top, throws it indirectly off the back wall looking for a tip or a funky bounce. It's picked up by Everett Thompson who's wearing number nine after his acquisition for the Motor City Rockers, the former Thunderbird. Thompson knocks down Pringle at center. Moved ahead by Schnapp and backhanded in deep. To the cross side it goes. Boilar trying to work this out of the zone. Moves it ahead for Powell. Cross ice it comes. Thompson just gets it past Bryce French. Here's a shot on goal from the point. That's stopped by Cavallari as Schnapp and Brett Parker are involved. And now a number of folks or I've got gloves and sticks up high. As Parker crashed the net, Schnapp took exception. 7.44 to go here in the first. And Parker and Schnapp were entangled there for a hot minute or three. Seven forty-four remaining. Shots now 12-4 in favor of Binghamton. Doesn't look like there's going to be any penalties from that. It's one of the first times I've said that in this first period. Faceoff will come out into the neutral zone after the attempt on the goaltender, Bioni. Moves his ahead now, Grabenikov gets it in deep. It's tipped off the stick of Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald moves it ahead for the other Thompson. That's Austin, who has his pass deflected. Moved ahead by Grabenikov, picked off by Fitzgerald. Moving in far side, drops it back. That might have come out of the zone. The save's made by Cavallari. Boy, that looked like that drop pass 
came out of the zone, maybe not completely, with 7.19 to go, but. Remember in a situation like that, this happened between St. Louis and Colorado a few years ago in a game that decided the playoff spot. The puck can leave, part of it can leave, as there's a chance in front, Cavalieri blocker stop. Remember on a play like that, the puck can leave the zone, part of it can, the entire puck cannot, as this dump in actually caught the official on the side of the cheek. Cavalieri made a huge stop there on the backhander. Far side, Gus Ford's got it. He's gonna try and move this out. He does, looking for Grabenikov, who hops on this. Nice play for Baker. Baker, delaying, trying to go cross ice for Ford, tipped wide by a defensive stick. Now Grabenikov and Austin Thompson are battling. Avoshkin was the one that broke up the play, and he's got it backhanded in front. Tipped on goal. Peavy was able to make that play, and now Peavy skates it up and out. Six and a half to go, first period. Blake Peavy drops it back off for Kepler. Peavy is leveled, but Baker was wide open in the high slot. The pass was tipped. Martin holds it in. Picked off by Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald trying to maneuver his way in. Bodied hard by Keplinger. Pass picked off by Yates, who shoots, and Cavalieri got a piece of that one. Ford will bank it out. Carolina will change. Binghamton trying to catch him in the middle of it. Play onside. Looked close out top. Back to the forehand. Yarwood, cross-ice feed, hit a boot. And now Schnapps in a foot race for this. Walters will recover in his own end and move it over. Back into the middle for Yarwood. He lost the handle, picked off by Pringle as Yarwood was knocked down by Schnapp. Here's Pringle, shoots, and McVay makes the glove save. 5.35 to go here in the first as Bazarin, and it looks like Tyson Kirkby are involved. One's from Alberta, the other's from Ontario. I don't think that's what the discussion's about. Things have been physical and hotly contested here early. Shots 15 to four in favor of Binghamton. Thunderbirds Trying their best to weather the storm here in the final five and a half of this first period. Moved ahead now. D'Angelo down into the zone. He comes. Gino D'Angelo from right here in Binghamton. He is moved out. Pringle tied up at center. Now moved back in by D'Angelo far side. That pass tipped high. And it comes free to Everett Thompson. Trying to go cross ice. That pass was tipped. Fitzgerald, Walters holds it in, moves it around the wall. Boilar tried to work it free and Parker is leveled by Bazarin. What a hit! And now Boilar wants to go after Bazarin. He's got the puck now, shoots it on goal, it's up and out of play. And that will take us to a timeout. 4.45 to go. Bazarin makes a clean hit and breaks up the play in front. Carolina is still weathering the storm, shot 16 to four, but it's a one goal hockey game. We're back in 30 seconds. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. The road to wisdom. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Brett Wiseman alongside you. Four forty-five remains here in our opening frame. Special thanks to our main man, Richie Pinkowski, operating our camera tonight. 
And Thunderbird fans, if you haven't got a chance to be around Richie yet, he's a fantastic guy. Just saying. So get a chance to meet him if you can when the Thunderbirds are back at home against these same Binghamton Black Bears, March 10th and the 11th. Face-off won by Carolina. Pastuka is able to get it out. Going to be a foot race for this. Weising's waved off. Oliveri. Pass is going to be picked off by Rome. Maybe no. Recovered by a Black Bear. And then Austin Thompson moved Salaki out of the way. Lopez. Near side. Works it around Peavy. Lopez now has it picked off by Peavy after help from Grabenikoff. Peavy on the backhand. Moves it ahead for Pastuka, who banks it up the wall and out. 4.15 to go. Pastuka picks his pass off at center, backhands it deep. Rowe is after this. And Fitzgerald will backhand it around the wall. Pass picked off in the high slot by Rowe. Dangles around Lopez, takes a stick up high, and there's the whistle. Lopez trying to get in there and lift his stick, but a little bit too high. Caught Rowe up in the choppers. And that's going to be an important power play here for Carolina. Carolina one for one on their initial opportunity. John Butsida, the captain's 10th goal of the season, is what made this 2-1 hockey game. 3.59 to go. Baker wins the draw. Back for Ford with Firth, Butsida, and Schnapp. Cleared out by Binghamton as far as the red line where Firth a little stick handle back in his own end. Drops it back for Gus Ford. You want to talk about stick handling? Wait and watch this. Gus Ford moves his way through the neutral zone. Shoots! And a blocker save made by McVay. Well, it's almost as if he read my mind and I read his. Firth out top. Leaves it for Baker. Baker backdoor Ford. Banks it off the goaltender. Pinballing puck in front. Hack and whack time. Who's got it? Ford on the backhand. Worked free by Schnapp. Somehow that stayed out of the net. Out top, Baker winds up. Pass looking for Firth, red. Well, and I mean really well. By Kirkby and moved out. Rowe in his own end. Trying to move this ahead into the skates of Salak. Firth. Trying to move this along. Stretch pass ahead for Keplinger. A little bit too hot to handle. Walters. Gets it out. Cavallari will set it up with his goal stick and leave it for Rowe. 2.45 left in the first and 45 left on the power play. Pringle with speed down the far side. Pringle protects the puck. Wraps around the back of the goal. Out to the right point. Rowe looking for a shooting lane. Shoots. That one hit a body in front and went wide. Pastuka's on it. Out top. Keplinger for Rowe. Rowe. Cross size looking for Pastuka. Couldn't quite get the right angle on that one. 20 seconds left here on this power play. Keplinger for Rowe. Rowe back out top. High slot. Keplinger tipped on goal. And McVay made the stop. And now cleared out in the final 10 seconds of this power play. Cavallari alerting uh, Pringle to get ahead of the ice there. Good play by Cavi. Alert play. Here's Salak. Pringle. One timer. Glove save. McVay. Oh, baby. I don't know if I like the Friends theme song after a Thunderbird was just robbed of a goal. It's supposed to be a happy song, Richie. Shots down a little bit more even, 16-8 on the shot counter. Thunderbirds win the draw, Bioni. Penalty has expired. Ford trying to hold it in. He will all the way around the wall. Strong pay by him. Boilar picked off by Ford. Ford skates his way into the high slot. Stop. Back to Baker. Missed just wide. Oh, boy, what a shot that was. Baker back of the goal. Fanned on a centering pass with 95 seconds left of this first period. Powell trying his darndest to get this out, and he does. Avashkin. With speed through center, Avashkin drops it off for Thompson. Thompson, a shot short side, stopped by Cavallari. Avashkin on his backhand, 
Pirouetting in front. Shoved by Bioni. Avochkin. Tripped up. Penalty. That was a one-man skating exhibition by Avoshkin who could not be uh, knocked off the puck at all. And Gus Ford, who does not often take penalties, will sit for two for tripping and there will be 50 seconds of power play time remaining if Binghamton doesn't score in the next minute and 10 seconds. One minute to go here in this first period. Fitzgerald leaves it for Yates. Yates, far side, down the wall. Yates works his way in front. Oh, what a pad save, Cavallari! Oh my goodness! And now, pushing and shoving in front of the net. Schnapp and Yarwood are involved. They're going to bring the face off back out into the neutral zone. It's the second time Binghamton's gotten a little bit too frisky after the whistle and had a face off brought out into the neutral zone. Just won by Carolina, but controls regained by Yates. Yates up the wall. That one kicked by a Carolina skate indirectly to the opposite end. Parker hit by Furt. Yarwood, 30 seconds left in the period. Far side. Yates out top Fitzgerald leaves it for Yarwood cross ice feed Yates shot short side stopped by Cavalieri who got over and made the save with the shoulder Lewis Yarwood touch pass Fitzgerald 10 seconds Yates cross ice looking for Yarwood tipped in front Schnapp had tipped the initial pass and that was played with a high stick Four seconds remaining here in this first period. And because Binghamton played it with the high stick, the faceoff will again come out into the neutral zone. Shots are now 21 to eight in favor of the Black Bears. And Mario Cavallari has done everything he can to keep this a one goal hockey game. And that will do it for period number one. Carolina holds off the power play for now 50 seconds of it remain when we will come back to action in our second period a hotly contested highly physical high speed bodies flying shots flying pucks flying just what you want on a Friday night inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena here in Binghamton New York Black Bears lead the Thunderbirds 2-1 after one. We'll break down the opening 20 minutes, take you around the rest of the league and more after this. It's just Thunderbirds hockey. Copy. Always reaching higher, pushing further, Achieving Remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. 
The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media, broadcast, in arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Brett Wiseman alongside you. Ricky Pinkowski's operating our camera here tonight. As to the second period we had here in a moment. And Binghamton, the Black Bears, a two to one lead over your Carolina Thunderbirds after the opening 20 minutes of play. Let's break that down for you, shall we? A lot of hits in that first period and a lot of power play opportunities. Seemed like Carolina just could not stay out of the box. Penalty just a minute and 29 seconds in, but that was preceded by a goal from Mac Lewis from Gavin Yates, who started that play back in the neutral zone. Yates dusted off Gus Ford, moved it ahead. Lewis put it in on the backdoor feed and Binghamton had a one nothing lead, 58 seconds into the hockey game. Then 17 seconds apart, penalties. Blake Peavy a tripping call at a minute 12. Pastuka a tripping call at a minute 29, leading to a power play goal. But not before Gavin Yates got an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. The power play goal came on a four on three. Avashkin from Lopez and Oliveri at 237 made it two to nothing Binghamton. Then Keplinger off for high sticking. So let's count up those penalties if we shall here in this first period on Carolina, or at least in the first few minutes. Two in the first minute and a half. Three in the first five minutes. Four in the first nine minutes. As Salak was called for holding at 837. But a minute before that, a power play goal from John Butita. Gus Ford and Tucker Firth get the assist and Ford now ties his personal slash franchise record one short of breaking it now his 85th point of the season one shy of breaking his own Thunderbirds franchise record which he set a year ago that same Gus Ford will be back in the box when we start play in our second period shots are 21 to 8 in favor of the Binghamton Black Bears as the Thunderbirds trying to weather this storm and make things happen here in this second period. We'll take you around the rest of the league and more when we come back after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. 
The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Always reaching higher. Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media, broadcast, in arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in two... as we take you around the rest of the FPHL now. We first head to Motor City and check in on the Mammoth and the Motor City Rockers and that one already escalating three nothing. The score, two goals in just 30 seconds to make it two and then three nothing for Motor City at 8.54 and 9.34. One of them coming from Declan Conway. Three nothing halfway through the first period. So Motor City already off to a fine start in that one. We head to Dan Barry to check in on the Hat Tricks and the Port Huron Prowlers. Hat Tricks a one nothing lead halfway into that first period. The goal coming on the power play exactly five minutes into the hockey game from Lucas De Benedet shots 9-3 in favor of the Hat Tricks. To Delaware we go, Harrington, Delaware that is, and checking on the Delaware Thunder and the Watertown Wolves, tied up 1-1, good one for the Delaware Fairgrounds Center Ice Arena. Goals just a minute and two seconds apart for both teams. Austin Weber unassisted at 8.07 for Delaware and Fabian Leonard from Chris Corgan at 9.09 to tie the score at one halfway through or about 15 minutes now into that first period. Shots are 9-7 Watertown, but the score even at one. And Columbus and Mississippi down for the Mississippi Coast Coliseum should be getting things underway here shortly. We'll be back with more. And preview what's to come here in this second period. Should be a good one. It's been a good one already. And we'll tell you what's to come in our middle frame. Richie Pinkowski will be back up to run the camera. And we'll be back to bring you the second period after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey.
always versatile Volkswagen Tiguan designed for every lifestyle with a wide variety of SUVs in stock get the right Volkswagen for you come in today schedule a test drive or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com at Novant Health every day you can expect more more days ahead thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before more peace of mind since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24 7. more freedom thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision novant health expect remarkable A Cadillac is more than a statement. It's a celebration of self-expression and a declaration of your independence. So choose to be bold and choose to be exactly who you are. Visit Flow Cadillac today at 1400 South Stratford Road, Winston-Salem, or shop online at flowcadillac.com. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation, and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you deserve the expert care of the region's most experienced sports medicine team. We're the official health provider for over 35 pro, collegiate, and youth sports organizations. We offer same and next day appointments, and our goal is to get you back to your game and keep you active. If you want to finish strong, start here. Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities. They're at the end of that, for, towards the end of that first period. So 50 seconds remaining on the power play for Binghamton when we come back to action. Carolina had trouble staying out of the box here in that first period. It sounds cliche and it sounds obvious, but it's the most important way to get this thing at least back even is to stay out of that penalty box at the far side from our broadcast position here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Two to one is our score, 50 seconds. A big up to power play time remaining when we come back to action. Thunderbirds and Black Bears duking it out here on a Friday night in New York. We're back with a second period after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com.
Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Back inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena, second period is underway. As Binghamton has control here, and that shot on stopped by Cavallari. Final half minute of this power play for Binghamton. Avoskin out top, Oliveria shot, pad save. Moved up and out by Bioni. Shoved off the puck as Schnapp shoots this in on goal. And it's moved ahead. Yates down the wall, moves it in on goal, save made, rebound, they score. Pinballing puck out in front. And just like that, the penalty had been killed, but Carolina unable to get the stop. 19.03 remains over the second period in a row. Within the first minute of it, Binghamton has a goal. It's three to one. down deep into the zone now Grabenikoff is after it muscles from along the wall Yates out top Boilar has it ripped away as now Baker's tripped up and tied up at center and there's the whistle Eighteen thirty-two to go here in the second. Carolina heads back to the power play. Carolina back to the power play. And now Puck cleared down the ice. Cavallari plays it back of his goal. And Carolina will try and break things out. Pringle drops it back for Rowe. Rowe moves it ahead for Keplinger. Trying to drop that back over for Salak. Salak over the right side. Pringle all the way around the wall. Basuka gonna have to double back to hold this in. Keplinger delaying, cross ice looking for Pringle. Now back over to the left for Pastuka. Back to the right, Pringle shoots through traffic, save made, and McVeigh holds on. Seventeen fifty-three to go here in our second period.
Really good crowd on hand here tonight in Binghamton for what's been a really good hockey game so far. Carolina still on the power play. Binghamton's got control off the faceoff. Held in, though, by Ford. Ford shoots. Oh, he missed just high. That close to breaking the point record. Baker gets it back from Firth. They'll play catch out top. Firth holds the line. Ford has it tipped off his stick. Now whacked out by Yarwood and all the way down. Cavalieri behind the net. Plays it ahead. Baker, 50 seconds left on this power play. Dropped back for Ford, who dangles around a man at center. Here comes Gus Ford into the zone. Ford trying to stick handle around Boilar, and it's whacked out of the zone. Firth brings it ahead. Schnapp trying to center that one for Butsita. Baker banks it off the wall nicely. Ford winds it, fires. That hit a body in front. It hit Yarwood up high. He's hurt. It hit him up near the eye, and he heads immediately to the bench. He is bleeding big time as he's going to have to go off for repairs. And Yarwood immediately down the tunnel. He did his job, he got in the way of the shot. As you take a look there on the video board, you'll see the re on the replay there. Gets Yarwood right up on the chopper. As Ice Crew doing yeoman's work, getting the bloody snow off the ice here. We appear to be good to go now. Baker to take the draw and a whistle as soon as it was dropped. Faceoffs have been interesting the last few weeks, league wide, not just with Carolina games, but the, the way that faceoffs have handled have been points of contention for multiple teams as this is shot down the length of the ice. Cavalieri sticks it aside, and Gus Ford's got 15 seconds to start the engine and get one more rush going on this power play. Ford delaying and watched and moves it ahead. Ford down the far side, shoots. Shoulder to side by McVeigh. Ford's got it back out in front. Centers it for Baker. Trying to go back door, pat on the side. Penalties expired. Baker out top looking for a tip from Butita. None there. Up the ice it comes. Yates down the wall, back of the goal now. Watched by Martin, that one poke checked. But Mac Lewis hops on it. 
Thrown now back down low, picked off by Baker, moved ahead for Danny Martin. Four minutes into the second period. Martin looking for a tip from Boutina, not available. Firth, able to make the play to hold that in. Schnapp has a whack. Martin keeps it in nicely with the leg. Martin on the backhand, back to the forehand. Shoots through traffic, and McVeigh made the stop. Held in again by Martin with the leg. Martin out top high slot, shoots, that one's blocked. And now Carolina's got to double back defensively. Gino D'Angelo gets it deep. Yates blasted by Firth back of the goal. Yates holds onto the puck. Poked free out of the scrum by Martin. Bazarin trying to muscle it loose. Thompson, this is Austin Thompson, lost the handle after he was bothered by Schnapp. Throws it on goal, sticked aside by Cavallari. Ivashkin drops it back out top. D'Angelo fakes a slap shot. Maybe that was a slap pass. Didn't hit its intended target either way. Bazarin levels of Oshkin, moves it ahead now for Martin. Good play by Baz back at his own end as Schnapp will hit the red line and get it in deep. Carolina will get a much needed change five minutes into the second period. Rowe almost forced to turn over there back of the play. As Pastuka was in on the forecheck as well. Rabinikov picks off the stretch pass, moves it ahead for Pastuka. Pastuka, nice pass, but it wouldn't quite stay in the zone as that one had some serious Texas Pete on it. Cross ice. Rabinikov stretch pass too far for Rowe. D'Angelo now moves it ahead. Brought into the zone by Avoshkin. Dropped back Thompson. Shoots, missed short side. Crazy bounce off the stanchion. Brought ahead by Rowe near side. Rowe on the backhand. Feathers it. Touch pass for Grabenikov. Grabenikov shoots. Oh, missed just high. Might have caught the crossbar. What a play by Victor as Peavy trying to hold that one in and does for the moment. He will again here. Peavy throws it around the wall. Pastuka in front. A shot. And it's stopped by McVeigh. Exactly 14 minutes to go here in the second period. But Carolina's got more of a push trying to, they got more of a push, but the problem is they gave up that goal. And made it from two to one to three to one. Shots are 26-15, Carolina trying to pull back within one. We're back at 30 seconds. Always reaching higher, pushing further, Achieving Remarkable. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. To go to the gentleman up top near the skyboxes in the Florida Panthers. Dude, that's a pair of Florida Panthers. I don't think I've ever seen two Florida Panthers fans together in the same breath. That's a rarity. I'm, I'm kidding. They have fans. They do exist. And one of them is wearing that reverse retro sweater of theirs. But that's beside the point. Scrum on, their, on the far side. Is trying to move this ahead. It's Binghamton. And it is brought ahead now by Newberg. And that shot is stopped by Cavallari on the backhand with 13.35 to go here in this second period. Carolina trying to find that second goal. But the marker out of the net mouth scramble. 58 seconds into the second period makes life a little bit more difficult. Jimmy Buffett in Binghamton, New York. Not something I expected to hear, but I like it. See, now I want a cheeseburger. 
but I want it in paradise. Oh wait, no, this is the Rod's the Wrong song. These are black bears, not sharks, guys. Well, Jimmy Buffett still came on. Therefore, I want a cheeseburger. Someone bring it up top of, I don't even know what section we're in. Gotta have fun when there's ice maintenance going on, and that's what I just did, if you want to consider that fun. Newberg on the draw, drops it back. Out top it comes Fitzgerald, right point through traffic. That hit Firth in front. Firth hops on the loose puck, pokes it ahead for Salak. Bodies off a defender. Salak protecting that puck, muscling off Black Bears left and right. Gets it in deep. French will have to double back as Pastuka couldn't get to it. Oliveri leaves it for Everett Thompson. He'll dump it in. Cavalieri back of the goal. Up around the wall, held in at right point by Yates. Nope, picked off. He'll get it in deep though. Cavalieri. We'll settle this down for Bryce French. French stick handling as Carolina's changing. French looking for a lane to break this out. That's picked off. Here's a shot. Missed just high. As Kirkby's the one that picked it off. Fortunately for Carolina, nothing came of it. Kepler at a two on one. Shoots. Score! He banked it in off McVay! McVay stopped part of it but not all of it. Josh Keplier. His 25th of the season has made this a one goal hockey game again. Shots now 27-16 in favor of Binghamton, but that is a big time goal to get Carolina back within one. Walters moves it down deep. Cavallari that hit the back of the net and Martin's got to recover quickly here. Took a hit to make that play. Walters out top through traffic, tips wide. Baker can't get it out. Kirkby has it poked free. Keplinger hops on it. Keplinger into the zone, shoots, McVay made the stop. Keplinger had a shot at the rebound. Grabenikov holds it in, down the wall. Baker tried to center one in front for a streaking forward, but that took an unfriendly bounce. Still pinballing around in the zone. Kirkby, he's had a long shift. He moves it ahead for D'Angelo. D'Angelo watched and defended by 28 and 18 and now hooked down by Martin, and there will be a penalty for that. UHS 11.51 to go in this second period. And right back to the penalty kill goes Carolina. Grabenikov, Schnapp, Peavy, and Firth are the four on this PK unit. Firth off control of the draw, will flip it backhanded all the way down, well done. As McVeigh will settle this back of the goal. Checked from behind by uh, PV is Oliveri. Oliveri knocked down and now a shorthanded opportunity coming for Carolina. Here's PV and all alone, score! Blake Peavy, backhand roof tickler, tie game, short handed. Oh baby, you gotta love it. Thirty seconds into the Binghamton power play, a short handed goal for Blake Peavy, who turned McVay into a pretzel on the breakaway. Went backhand up top to tie this game. Oh, how the tables have turned. Peavy's 15th goal of the year has tied the game up with 11 minutes to go in this second period. And a minute 10 to go on the power plays. This one's picked off shorthanded now by Schnapp. 
trying to glove this down. He and Yates come together. As Schnapp is doing yeoman's work at his own end, killing time here. Pringle pokes that free. Oliveri lost the handle. Picked off now by Grabinikoff. Here comes Victor. And poked from behind. Pringle hops on the loose puck. Trying to center it for Victor. 45 seconds. Almost a second shorthanded goal right there. Oliveri, too far. Should be an icing call, and it will be. 10.25 remains in this second period. 34 seconds on the power play, and after a shorthanded goal, another shorthanded shot on goal, now an offensive zone draw. Shots 27-19. Binghamton wins the draw in the last half minute of this power play. Pringle tips this puck. Hops on it, throws it around the wall. 22 seconds. Putita chasing after Lopez. Works it loose. Putita bodied off of it, but he's killing more time. Not allowing Binghamton to advance here. What a job by this Carolina penalty kill unit with 10 seconds left on the penalty. Moved ahead now. Lopez in front. Save Cavallari out of Oskin, who takes a whack from Bioni. Butita, stretch pass ahead. Too far, Martin out of the box, watching Yates. Yates skates away from Martin. Up the ice comes Yates, moving in around Bioni. Great stick lift from behind by Danny Martin to break that up. Fitzgerald out top, a one-timer. That hit the glove of Cavallari and stayed in play off the top of the glass. Bioni now battling with a man. Knocks down Yates. That hits the skate of Martin. Futita banks it up the wall for Martin, who will get the red line. Slam on the brakes. Hit it cross-ice for Firth, who will get it in deep for a much-needed change. Nine minutes to go as Rowe is knocked down back of the goal, trying to force a turnover. Brought ahead by his opposite number, Everett Thompson, who will shoot it on goal, and Cavalieri will play it safe and hang on to it with 8.56 to go here in the second period. Oh, how the tables have turned. Carolina down 3-1 to one moments ago. A goal from Keplinger on a two-on-one and a shorthanded marker from Blake Peavy have made this a 3-3 three, three hockey game. We're back at 30 seconds. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health, expect remarkable. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Eight fifty-six to go here in this second period. French tied up on the other end of the ice. Centering pass, kicked off the boot of Rowe, banked up and out. Now back in deep it comes, Cavallari leaves it for Rowe, dangerous pass through a set of legs for Grabenikov. And it comes Bazarin. Bazarin trying to center it, does for Salak, who tried to drop it back for Rowe. Bazarin shoots, Salak tipped it on goal, and McVay smothered it with the chest.
Tied up off the draw. Brought out now by Yates. Yates down the wing. Trying to toe drag around Bioni. On the back can, banks it out top, D'Angelo. Pass picked off. Here comes Baker with Keplinger and Ford. Ford, high slot, shoots, glove save. That might have hit D'Angelo in front first. As D'Angelo skates down the far side wing. Back of the goal, he comes. Looking for Yates out front. D'Angelo trying to go short side. Padded aside by Cavallari. Avoskin's back on this. Takes the body from Firth, knocked off the puck. Gus Ford, moving ahead, looking for that point record. Back for Keplinger, Keplinger centers it for Ford, back for Baker, oh boy! There's a shot that's wide from Bioni at a yawning cage. Ford, out top, Baker, shoots, blocked in front. And now a whistle and an injured Black Bear as Yates I believe is the one that took the brunt of that shot from Baker as he's got one glove off with 7.09 to go on the second. Bootsita can't win the draw. Banked up and out of the zone, but picked off and neutralized by Martin. Cross ice for Schnapp, who knocks it out of midair. Schnapp trying to backhand it out top for Pringle. It comes out into the neutral zone where Peavy will handle it. Peavy, that pass is picked off. Now Peavy, watched by Yates, or Lopez, I should say. And now Avashkin trying to work that free in front, but brought out by Martin. Off the stick of Butita, deep into the zone it comes. Fitzgerald, bodied by Butita, but he's able to work it up the wall. Lopez for Avashkin, around Danny Martin. Nice play by Danny to work that puck free. And Peavy pays the price to get it out. Avashkin had it now, I believe they're gonna get a penalty here of a retaliatory nature on Morton as Yarwood re-enters the ice. Good sign to see him back out there, but not a good sign to see another Thunderbird in the penalty box. Penalties on Danny Morton. Cross-checking is the call on Danny Martin. Pretty good effort on the penalty kill last time for Carolina. Now this is dropped back. Yates. Around the wall he comes, back of the goal. Yates, out top. Fitzgerald, Firth, in a battle for it as it's shoveled loose by a Black Bear who's tied up with Grabenikov. That was Brett Parker. Yarwood back out on the ice. Parker down the right wall. Minute gone and a minute to go on this Binghamton power play. Yarwood. Gets it back, one-timer, missed just wide. Yates, watched by Salak. Firth clears it around the wall. Pastuka hops on and then gets it out. Salak chasing after this loose puck. McVeigh will play it off the back of the wall. And Binghamton will try and break back ahead and out. Fitzgerald, into the zone. Shouldered by Baker, Peavy backhands it out as two Black Bears collide in the offensive zone. Yarwood works it away from Schnapp with 30 seconds left. He'll get it in deep. Around the wall it comes, Baker, and a whistle. And let's see, 
Carolina penalty box door has opened. And Schnapp is going to get called for a slash. Four thirty-nine to go here in the second. There's 24 seconds of time remaining on the initial Binghamton power play on the penalty from Martin, and now Schnapp is guilty of a slash. 4:40 to go, or 4:39 to go, I should say, here in the second period. Carolina and Binghamton side up. 2-2, two, two. we're back at 30 seconds. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Art Wiseman alongside you, Richie Pinkowski, doing a fantastic job operating our camera tonight. And a shout out to all of you, all those of you watching at Gatsby's tonight and tomorrow night. Now here's a chance in front, Yarwood shot was blocked by Peavy. Oh boy, here on this five on three. Under 420 to go here, that shot on goal. Cavalieri couldn't cover it, oh! How did that stay out of the net? Oh my goodness. A pinballing puck, stopped by Cavallari twice, leaked through his pads, and stayed out of the net. Evashkin. Moving it ahead. Oliveri down the wall, Yates a minute to go now on this second Binghamton power play opportunity. Yates a shot, that one blocked up and out of play. Three thirty-four to go here in the second in a tie hockey game. Fifty seconds left on this penalty now. Boilar out top. Fitzgerald back for Boilar. One timer missed wide. Fitzgerald right point back for Boilard. Thirty-five seconds left. Yates trying to center it, picked off by Martin. Lifted up and wristed out. Three oh five remaining. This one now brought ahead. Thompson. Or Fitzgerald, I should say, tried to drop it back for Thompson. This is picked off. 15 seconds left on the Binghamton power play. Kirkby leaves it for Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, watched by Rowe, works it down the wall for Austin Thompson. Comes free to Lewis. Trying to go back out top for Fitzgerald. Penalties expire, two and a half to go. Here's Boyer in front, shot in wide. Cavalier might have got a piece of it. And now Boyer, another chance that went wide. Stretch pass, kneeled and picked off by JT Walters. And now back ahead it comes for Schnapp. Schnapp shoots, ooh, missed just wide. That one looked like it was labeled. Everett Thompson and Justin Bioni come to this loose puck. Thompson, tipped on goal by Yarwood. Cavallari stuffed it. Short side with the pad as Yarwood had a shot at the rebound. 
Yarwood tips the initial opportunity on goal. And from down below the goal line, Cavalieri had to kick out the right pad and smother it. 32 to 20 are the shots in this one. Two minutes to go in the second. Gravenikoff off the faceoff. Oh, lost the handle. Look out here. Thompson centered one. That one backhanded off the top of the side of the goal. Keplinger delaying. Moves it over for Baker. Baker will come to it indirectly. Baker lost the handle on it. Brett Parker in the final minute and a half of the second period. Bioni shoulders a man down. Parker back of the goal. Parker. Has it shouldered free. Ford for Keplinger. A little bit too far for Baker. Stretch pass off the skate of Bioni into the cross side. Grabenikov hops on it. Ahead for Baker. Tipped off his stick. Ford drops it back. Grabenikov didn't have the red lines. It's going to be an icing call. And not an ideal one with 69 seconds left in the second period. And an offensive zone draw for Binghamton. Thompson trying to center that one out in front and it's smothered by Cavallari with exactly 60 seconds to go. Pass picked off now by Ford. With under a minute to go, Ford up the wall. Gus Ford moving in, tripped up. There's the call. 46.5 to go. As Ford was in all alone, but I don't think he was alone enough for a penalty shot. So it'll be a power play as the tripping call will go on Oliveri. Keplinger wins the draw. Pastuka took a whack. Salak works it free. Pastuka on the wall. Pringle and Rowe could not hold this in. Drops it back over for Salak. He and Pringle's pass cross inadvertently with half a minute to go in the second. Pringle maneuvers this ahead. Down the near side wing. Pringle slams on the brakes. Out top Keplinger. Cross ice row. Row through traffic. Tipped wide. Salak through traffic again with Pringle in front providing a screen. And the stop made by McVay. 11 seconds to go in this wildly eventful second period.
Salak in front, Kepler a shot. That one patted the side, cleared down. Cavalieri will try and shoot this up for one more opportunity, but time will run out on that. A minute 14 remaining of power play time for Carolina when we come to action in the third period. Richie Pinkowski operating our camera tonight. Special thanks to him. Brett Wiseman alongside Jim will come back and break down the middle frame, an eventful one at that after this. Thunderbirds and Black Bears tied for third in the league standings and tied three all after 40 minutes of play here inside Vision's Veterans Memorial Arena. We'll break down the middle frame, take you around the rest of the league and more when we come back on our second intermission report. Birds, Black Bears, knotted up, three all, something's got to give. Second intermission report coming up next. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC. Select Audi models, schedule a test drive, or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. Are you looking to re- For you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. At Novant Health, every day you can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena as we prepare for the third period of play here in Binghamton, New York. Brett Wiseman alongside you. Let's take you through that second period of play and a eventful one at that. Carolina entered the period trailing two to one, but they outscored Binghamton two to one in this third period. A goal just 57 seconds into the second by Tyson Kirkby made it three to one for Binghamton, but more strong goaltending from Mario Cavallari and then a pushback from Carolina leading to a goal on, from Josh Keplinger. Lucas Rowe getting the only assist. Keplinger on a two on a run. Made everybody think he was gonna pass. Shot far side on McVay and banked it in off his glove. McVay stopped some of it, but not all of it. 
as it leaked through to make it a 3-2 hockey game. Then, just a minute and 21 seconds later, after Danny Martin was called for interference at 8.09, at 8.37, Blake Peavy on a shorthanded opportunity on the breakaway after a pass right on the tape from Viktor Grabenikov. Peavy went forehand, backhand, roof job right under the bar on McVay to tie the game at three, shorthanded. And after more fantastic goaltending from Cavalieri down the stretch of that second period, it remains a 3-3 hockey game. Carolina, as we said, will have a minute and 14 seconds of power play time when we go back to action in period number three. Shots. 32-22 in favor of Binghamton, but from where it was 21-8 after the first, Carolina with the pushback, 14-11 on the shot counter in that second period. Power play opportunities have been multitudinous. Carolina one for five on theirs. They're on their sixth. Continuing on, Binghamton is now one for eight on their more than a multitudinous power play opportunity. We'll take you around the rest of the FPHL. Tell you what's going on here on this late February Friday night. Thunderbirds and Black Bears all knotted up. 3-3 as we head towards the third period of play. Take you around the FPHL for scores after this. This is Thunderbirds hockey. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic look and performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business. Shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. At Novant Health, every day you can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. A Cadillac is more than a statement. It's a celebration of self-expression and a declaration of your independence. So choose to be bold and choose to be exactly who you are. Visit Flow Cadillac today at 1400 South Stratford Road, Winston-Salem, or shop online at flowcadillac.com. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. After 15 years of the Share the Love event. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. 
3-3 is our score after two periods of play. Things have escalated at Motor City. It is now six to nothing in favor of the Rockers over the Elmira Mammoth. 12 minutes into the second period. The latest goal coming from Elias Thompson to make it 6 nothing at 9.30 of that second period. Shots 23-21 in favor of Motor City. To Danbury we go, still a tight one. Port Huron Prowlers hanging in there. 10 minutes and 12 seconds into that second period. Port Huron trailing Danbury one to nothing, but shots are even at 18 apiece as Danbury is on the power play as we speak. Good one going on at the Delaware Fairground Center Ice Arena between the third and fifth place teams in this Empire Division. Watertown has gone up now two to one after entering, or after trailing one nothing. Two goals there late in the first, despite being outshot 15 to 14. Watertown back on top by a score of two to one. The latest goal for the Wolves coming at 17.51 of the first period from Parker Boskell, who if you remember was acquired from the Elmira Mammoth a few weeks ago. Down to Biloxi. We said don't be surprised if things were competitive. Well, guess what? They're competitive. One, one after one. Yaroslav Yevdokimov doing what he does best. That's filling the back of the net. Four minutes and 22 seconds into it. Getting the first goal of the game for the Seawolves. Yanni Liriakos and Jake Raleigh picking up the assist as the top line for Mississippi continues to produce at length. Jacob Kelly at 10.48, the power play goal. LaBelle and Storjahan the assist. That tied the game up at one, and that's where we stand at the end of the first period. Shots 14-11 Columbus, but game tied 1-1. We'll break down what's to come in what should be an exciting third period to come here from Binghamton, New York. Black Bears and Thunderbirds tied up 3-3. We'll break down the third after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic look and performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. 
The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Brett Wiseman alongside you. Ricky, R Richie Binkowski operating our camera tonight on YouTube on Thunderbirds TV. Thanks so much for those of you tuning in at Gatsby's as well tonight, tomorrow night, and uh, hopefully Sunday as well. Carolina looking to break this 3-3 tie when we head to the third period. It's a bit bittersweet for Carolina. Well, they might want to see Columbus lose to gain ground in the standings. If Mississippi loses and Carolina wins, your Thunderbirds clinch a playoff spot tonight. We'll keep an eye on that one as we move along tonight. Third period is next. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Carolina still has power play time left. Firth drops it back over for Gus Ford. Ford shoots through traffic. Oh, glove stopped there by McVay as it's tied up now back of the goal. Peavy trying to work this free. And now it's cleared up and out by Binghamton. Baker, back at the goal now. Trying to break this back out. 10 seconds left on this Carolina power play. Dropped back for Ford. Ford moves it ahead. Shoveled into the zone, Ford's after it. P. 
Peavy trying to knock it loose. Stretch pass ahead, a two on one developing with a man out of the box. Delaying is... There's a hit right there, a big one by Firth. That was up high and now... And that was Oliveri that took a whack up top. Firth got, looked like he made a hit that was a little bit up high, but maybe teetering the line a bit, but it looked clean from up here. You get a look at it here on the replay. Yeah, just a shove there. And maybe teetered the line a bit, but they're going to get a penalty after the fact. It's going to be on Baker. Baker gets two for tripping. As this is moved down the ice now by Oliveri. Here's a chance in front. Yates tipped that one wide. Held it at the point. Oliveri locked up from behind, throws it in front off the pad of Cavalieri, and now backhanded all the way down by Peavy. McVeigh back at the goal, wraps it around the wall. Oliveri comes to this, moves it ahead, picked off by Pastuka and banked off the wall in deep. McVeigh leaves it for Yates. Yates up the ice, around Salak. Yates speeds in front, poke check Cavalieri. Oh, what an alert play by the Thunderbird netminder as Yates used his speed again, but was thwarted right out in front. Here comes Yates once again. Backhand pass across, too far for Fitzgerald. Pastuka whacks it up and out. Salak shorthanded. 38 seconds left on this penalty. Three minutes into the period. McVeigh back at the goal. 15 seconds left on the Binghamton power play. Moved over now for Yates. Yates around to Martin. Yates shoots short side off the side of the net. Final five seconds of this Carolina PK. One timer, Yarwood fanned on it. Back at the goal it comes. Mac Lewis leaves it for Yates. As Baker's sentence has ended, Firth makes a hit in the corner. Yates shoved from behind by Baker, and there's going to be a call coming for that. Well, Baker's going to go right back to the box. Sixteen, sixteen to go here in this third period of regulation. Centering pass out in front, poked wide. There's a shot up high, hit the glass, and almost trickled over the goal line off the bounce from behind the goal. Oliveri moves it over, gets it back. And now a whistle with 15.52. 
Now a discussion in front of the net. Minute 37 left on this Binghamton power play. As Schnapp, and I believe that's Austin Thompson, are involved before the draw. Won by Carolina, and moved up and out. McVay, back of the goal, leaves it for Oliveri. Worked into the zone, taking a spill there as Lopez. Schnapp can't get it out, held in by Thompson. Lopez drops it back of Oshkin. Down low, Lopez out top of Oshkin. Oh, timer! Oh, what a stop, Cavallari! Oh, chef's kiss! What a glove stop! As Schnapp is bumped by Oliveri on his way to the bench. Fifteen twenty to go, and a minute to go on this Binghamton power play. There's a shot that went wide. Kirkby along the wall throws it down low. Lopez. Back door, Kirkby, couldn't get a clean shot away. Martin on the backhand, can't get it out. Oliveri, pass blocked by Salak nicely, comes back out into neutral ice. Moved ahead now, nearly offside was Lopez. He's poked from behind. Out top of Voskin, couldn't get a handle to it. Pastuka moves it ahead for Salak. Here's Salak, shorthanded, gets it in deep. Salak battling for it to kill time. 20 seconds. Pasuka tried to whack at it. Oliveri down the far side. Shoots, Cavallari got that one too. Oliveri near side, out top. Yarwood, final 10 seconds of the power play. Cross ice for no one in particular. Yates around the wall. Lewis around Bioni, one-timer. That hit a skate, and it comes free. Held in by Newberg. Cross ice for Baker out of the box. Through traffic, Cavallari sprawling, maybe got a piece of it. And now a penalty upcoming. This one, though, is going to be on the Binghamton Black Bears. Fourteen oh three to go here in our second period, third period, I should say, the final period of regulation time. And it will be a Carolina power play. Yarwood to the box. Carolina to the man advantage. 14.03 to go in regulation. Buckle up. We got a good finish coming down the stretch here in Binghamton. We're back at 30 seconds. Always reaching higher. Pushing further. Achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Shots are 40 to 23 in favor of Binghamton.
Beebe drops it back for Ford. Off the faceoff win. Ford out top first. Baker one timer tip just wide. Firth through traffic looking for a tip. Peavy's on this loose puck. Out top it comes for Gus Ford. Back for Firth. Firth right side Baker through his skates. Schnapp hops on the loose puck. Out top Baker. Watches, waiting, delaying. Back for Firth through traffic. Save main rebound was there. Ford couldn't get to it. Trying to keep the play alive is Ford. Worked over to Baker. Firth drops it back for Baker. Baker waiting, watching. Cross point, Ford shoots, save made. Firth back for Ford between his legs and out of the zone. Ford around Parker, drops it back for Baker. Minute gone, minute to go on this Carolina power play. Firth through traffic, that hit Peavy. Firth couldn't quite hold it in. Cavalieri will play this up. Baker drops it back for Firth. Firth through the neutral zone will now drop it back once again for Ford. Ford, stick candles his way into the zone. Ford shoots, that missed up high. Rebound, hacking and whacking in front. Salak's on it. Baker for Firth, waiting. Out top, Baker. Looking to the right for Salak. Salak out towards the high slot. Drops it for Firth, through traffic. Who missed just high. And now Baker is able to hold this in. 20 seconds left of the power play. Baker winds up, fakes the shot. Bodies flying everywhere in front as it comes free to Fitzgerald. And Fitzgerald takes a whack. Around the wall it comes, five seconds left on this Carolina power play. Moved ahead by Pasuka for Salak. Even strength we are once again. Salak protecting the puck down low. Below the goal line takes two huge hits. Puck still alive. Keplinger. Grabenikov tried to throw it in front. Keplinger, toe dragging around the man. Yarwood, soccer flops out of the high slot. Pastuka with a nice reverse hit. Here's Keplinger, out top, Salak. Right point, Grabenikov, through traffic, just wide rebound. Oh my goodness, save was made. Salak a shot, that one stopped. Oh my goodness. Kepler had a yawning cage. And Matayu Boilar diving in front of the net stopped it with his calf. Boy, Richie and I both up here had our hands over our heads. Well, of course, he had one hand on the camera, too, for the record. Butita wins the drawback for Martin. Down the wall, Martin banks it deep. Able to keep this alive for the moment. Picked off though by Yates. Three on two developing unless Carolina can get back. Yates, picked off by Grabenikov. Moved ahead for Bazarin. He's able to handle this one. Touch pass over for Butita. He'll get it in deep with Keplinger and Bazarin attacking. Keplinger, misfires on the hit. Out top, Grabenikov. That shot blocked, two Black Bears collide. Bazarin looking back door for Keplinger, picked up by Butita. Butita, Martin, touch pass Bazarin. Back door looking for Keplinger, tipped wide. Grabenikov, that one hit Keplinger up high and that stung him. Martin is after this in the defensive zone, plays it away from Yates, takes a spill, hops back on it. Leaves it for Justin Pringle. Both teams making changes. Moved ahead, Butsita for Grabenikov. Drops it back, Pringle. Pringle trying to leave that for Grabenikov, tied up below the goal line. Victor works it loose. Butsita trying to go back door for Pringle, that hit a skate. Banked up and out. Avashkin will come to this. Avashkin around Firth. Poke checked by Firth. And then he'll level Avashkin into the corner. Butsita waiting. Watched by Lopez. Butsita works it out. Now for Pringle. Under 10 minutes to go. Schnapp shoots. Save made. Kicked aside. Butsita. Outs up. Firth. Through traffic. Tipped high by Schnapp. 
And that did indeed go out of play. 9.43 to go. In regulation. If your seat belts aren't fastened, I encourage you to buckle them safely. 3-3, 9.43 to go in regulation. Pull them belts one more time. We're coming down the stretch after this. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. And a save made by Cavallari. Eight twenty-six to go. Minutes and 10 seconds remaining here in this third period. Oh, 7.52. As Bioni moves it ahead for stretch pass looking for Ford almost able to work that one free. Bioni, stretch pass, finds Baker, leaves it for Ford. Ford stick handles his way around, tried to center one through traffic, but it's picked off. Kirkby drops it back. Lewis back for Firth. Firth maneuvering it ahead, up for Gus Ford. Ford drops it back. Keplinger down the wall it comes. Ford trying to center it. Firth pinching. Backhand centering pass picked off by Oliveri. And lifted up and out. Foot race forward, Austin Thompson will win it. Shouldered by Gravenikoff. As those two are tied up. Keplinger works it free. 
Shots down 41-28. Keplinger at the line, shoots it in. Yates drops it back. Fitzgerald has it go through his legs. McVeigh out to play it. Butita couldn't quite keep that alive. Six and a half to go. Here's Peavy in with Schnapp. Schnapp, backdoor Peavy. Oh boy, tip just wide. Schnapp's on the loose puck. Trying to work it loose. Butita on goal with Pringle in front. And the save made by McVeigh. As Schnapp and Oliveri. The exchange pleasantries. Can't control it, moved ahead. Parker's after this, Butsita trying to work it loose for Carolina, picked off back of the goal. Peavy hits the deck, trying to work it free for Martin. Avoskin shoots it short side and Cavallari will alertly and safely cover that one up. Five fifty seven remaining. Now we await the dropping of the puck. Uh, but first, Newberg is going to be kicked out of the dot. Pastuka hops on the free puck. Pastuka with Salak, centers it for Salak. Pirouettes on the backhand, back to the forehand. Out top, left point, Grabenikov. Rowe, centers it, Salak, oh, just a little bit behind him. Worked ahead now. Binghamton was changing. Rowe, trying to center it for Pastuka, just couldn't quite get that on the tape. Pastuka, protecting the puck down low. Salak tried to work it loose. Austin Thompson, ahead for Ravashkin. Cavallari will come out, cut down the angle, and move it over for Grabenikov. Trying to fight it ahead for Salak, picked off by Powell. And now a hit back of the play. And now we're going to get some pleasantries exchanged. Austin Thompson, and that's Lucas Rowe that are involved. I didn't quite see what happened back there. Gravenikov's tied up. Salak's got a dance partner. Baker, Bioni. The main scrum is between Austin Thompson and Lucas Rowe. And Gravenikov looked to collide with the Black Bear that was down after the hit. Now Rose being pushed towards the penalty box. Not politely, I might add. Or is he done for the night? No, he's going back to the bench. Bioni is the one that's entering the box. Now let's see, Bioni collided with Lopez back of the play, and then Grabenikov inadvertently kicked his stick. So the assumption would be, Bioni's got two for interference. Richie, if you could get the replay there on the screen. There you see Victor with the inadvertent kick of the stick. 
mean, that was well after the puck had left the zone. Matching minors, or at least for the moment they're matching, on Thompson and Bioni. We'll wait for the official word, but. I think we're gonna play this even. Yep, two each for roughing. Okay, it's good to be wrong sometimes. Worked out by Avoskin. Avoskin, backhander, maneuvered wide. Thompson, or Yarwood, I should say, worked free and out here in four on four action with 4.45 to go in regulation. Stretch pass too far for Avoskin. Cavalieri will play it around his goal. As Firth and the man were tied up, this is picked off. Oliveri trying to drop it back, picked off by Keplinger. Avoskin works it free, Oliveri, shot tipped high off the glass. Keplinger for Firth, picked off by Lopez. Firth lost his stick in the process. Avoskin, toe dragging, bodied by Baker. Back of the goal, Avoskin, centers it out top. Touch pass for Oliveri. Center is it picked off. Four ahead for Keplinger. Here's Josh Keplinger. Delay shot score! Josh Keplinger with four minutes to go in regulation has given Carolina a four to three lead. Oh yes, sir. Half of the goals tonight off the stick of number 28. And look at this shot. Ripper, right up top. Pretty nice Ellie too. 4.01 to go in regulation. 4-3 Carolina. As Peter Panacic likes to say, that's a galvanizing goal. 26 of the season, second of the night for Josh Keplinger. Zalot moves it ahead. Pastuka works into the zone, trying to go back door for row, picked off. Out top, Peavy, well, amazing job to hold that in. Peavy muscles it down below the goal line, threw it off the back of the goal. Salak protecting the puck. Pastuka for row. Row down low, Peavy tipped it wide. With under 10 seconds left on the four on four, Peavy knocked off the puck. As now a collision between Salak and Fitzgerald. Rowe will maneuver it out. Back at even strength, three minutes to go. High off the glass, back of the goal. Austin Thompson for Powell. Fitzgerald will kick it to his stick. Schnapp forces the turnover. Out to center, 2.45 to go. Thompson. Here's a Voskin trying to muscle through a set of defenders. Backhanded out by Martin. Butita tips this at center. Schnapp had a whack at it, hits the deck. Maneuvered ahead now by Pringle. Pringle trying to work into the zone. Picked off, banked up and out. Avoshkin. It'll come on goal as Gravenikov let it go. Gravenikov blows a tire. Ooh, that was dangerous. He toe picked it back there. 2.10 to go. Martin in a battle at center. Two minutes to go. Yarwood moves it ahead. We'll watch McVay at the other end. Parker lost the handle. Pass too far for Schnapp. Pringle will come to it. Drop it back for Firth, and Carolina will play it safe with under two minutes left. Stretch pass too far for Putita. JT Walters hops to it. Far side, up the wall. 
D'Angelo for Parker. Firth to Butita who couldn't backhand it out. 90 seconds left. Shot short side save made Cavallari. Rebound, puck still loose. And Cavallari is able to cover it. Minute 27 to go. We'll keep it here. Shots are 43 to 30 in favor of Binghamton. And if Mario Cavallari doesn't get first or second star on the night, there ought to be an investigation. 72 and 28 ought to be one and two if this result or the score holds to the result we hope it will. And Cavallari coming into this one, giving up seven goals in his last four games, but he stopped 126 of those shots and won all four of those appearances. We will take a 30 second timeout and we're back after this. This is Thunderbird Hockey. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. Cupcakes.com. We never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or at the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novon Minute 27 to go here in our third period. 4-3 is our score. Puck is dropped. Binghamton net is empty. As this one shot just wide and could not be held in. Back of his own goal, it's Yarwood. Oliveri. Avashkin through center, bodied by Grabenikov. Salak all the way down the length of the ice, just a bit wide, and that's going to be no icing waved off here. Now, shot all the way back down the other end of the ice. That is going to be an icing call with 45 seconds left. Go figure. So, McVeigh will have to hop back into the crease. Not convenient for Binghamton. Binghamton's taking their time out here with 45 seconds to go. And we'll see what the Thunderbirds bench is drawn up here. No fan behind the bench. They're not drawing the YMCA up. It's kind of be a tough formation to pull off. Forty-five seconds remain in what has been an absolute thriller. On the first of three and three here this weekend in Binghamton, New York. Shots are 43 to 30 in favor of Binghamton. McVeigh's going to hop back into his crease. Face off comes. Carolina can't get control. Moved out with 40 seconds to go. Yates shouldered by Grabenikov. Nice clean hit. Backhanded out by Victor. McVeigh still not out of the crease. 
And that'll be an icing call and a Bronx cheer. For the officiating crew for that one. We're, we're not too terribly far from the Bronx, so Bronx Shear did not travel far. If you don't know what a Bronx Shear is, it's a very clever use of sarcasm by a sporting crowd. We'll leave it at that. Peavy tied up on the draw. Firth trying to shovel this out. Yates lost the handle. Gravenikov with 20 seconds. Baker. He's tied up. Rugby scrum comes free. Baker now tied up yet again. 10 seconds left. Carolina's just killing time. Whacked out by Grabenikoff. Yarwood through traffic. Save made. Cavallari kept it out. Two seconds to go. And now here we go. That's Jan Salak that is raining right hands on a black bear. And a boy, Sally. As Cavallari's mask was ripped off, and he is barking at, I believe, yes, that's Yates or Kirkby. Kirkby got too frisky. Cavallari went after him, and Salak stepped in and said, No, nah, you're not fighting. You stopped enough tonight. Two seconds left, 2.8 to be exact. As you see there, and we just gotta look at the replay there. They're still jawing in between the benches. The fans are getting into the jawing now. Try and sort out the penalty situation with 2.8 seconds to go. As you had a feeling things were going to boil over into a scrap at some point. Newberg and Butita, the two 14s. We're receiving an explanation. Butita heads back to his bench. Two seconds left, and a neutral zone faceoff. Although the argument's gonna be made, and it should be in the offensive zone, Cavallari and Oliveri are arguing with one another. Well, the correct call was made. Offensive team charts the net after the whistle, so the faceoff comes out. Two seconds left. Two and one. That will do it. That's a Thunderbird winner. And a big one at that. Thunderbirds four to three victorious tonight in the first of three this weekend over the bigger tip Black Bears. Cavalry, fantastic, marvelous Mario once again stopping 41 of 44 shots. Josh Keplinger, two goals. Gus Ford picking up an assist or two. We'll wait on the final numbers to see if he did end up breaking 
the franchise point record. As the Thunderbirds skate off victorious for the first time this weekend, Keplinger and Cavallari sure to be first and second stars, celebrate in front of the goal crease, and the Thunderbirds walk out of Visions Veterans Memorial Arena with a win to start the weekend. How about it? We'll break it all down when we come back on our post-game show. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. I like the winning Always bumper. reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena, Brett Wiseman alongside as we wrap things up here on our post-game show. Thunderbirds victorious tonight, four to three over the Binghamton Black Bears. It was indeed Mario Cavallari, a second star, 41 saves on 44 shots against, and Josh Keplinger with two goals tonight picks up first star honors for the Thunderbirds. We'll preview what's to come tomorrow night when we come back on our post-game show. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Always. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media, broadcast, in arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22. Can you reach? Back here one final time inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Brett Wiseman alongside you. Thunderbirds victorious on the first of this three in three this weekend. Carolina winning it four to three right back here tomorrow night. Same time, same place, 635 airtime on WTOB, 980 AM, 96.7 FM, and right here on Thunderbirds TV shortly thereafter. Good start to the weekend. Thunderbirds four to three over the Big Tip Black Bears. And we will see you tomorrow night. Same time, same place.